Hey everybody, I was working on my minecart stuff, but then I found out about this Eats boat system made by Ethos Lab. I've got it set up right here. It's basically an alternative to minecarts that uses, it's a rapid transport, it's the same speed as a boosted minecart, and you don't have to uh, do anything manually, it's all automatic. But uh, he's got some videos on how to build this, but it took me, I had to sift through four or five videos to figure out what's actually going on. So I'm just going to explain the mechanics behind this shit. I'll show you what it does first. You get in, I'm not using the movement keys, I'm not touching anything except the fucking mouse. And you're going to notice I'm going to hit this at full speed and not break. That's because it's perfectly straight and I'm not using the movement keys. It's all fucking, uh, it aligns itself perfectly, automatically. So then you do this, this, this part doesn't work quite right, but... There you go, this is your other station, you get off, uh, I don't really have a very good departure point yet. But, shut the fuck up, music. I don't give a shit. There we go. So here's your other station, you get off, you do whatever the fuck you want. Get back in. Yeah, I've got a bunch of unnecessary shit just to uh, play around with the mechanics of it. And I'll explain it all in a second. We'll just do a full loop first. So, you kind of get the idea. Same speed. You don't need any iron. Takes longer to build, but it looks pretty cool if you use glass for the bottom. And uh, we're going to get off here and then I'll show you what the hell is happening. Alright, so you got fucking ladders all around the side. What's with these goddamn ladders? You need the fucking ladders. It's just because, alright, I'm pushed up against the wall right now. I'm trying to run forward, but I can't because there's collision on ladders. There's collision on all sides. You can get on top, and uh, I can't even fucking demonstrate it there. But, you know, you get on top of a ladder, you can actually stand on top of it, even though it looks like you're standing on top of nothing. It's the same with the bottom. So you have a ladder here because the boat gets stuck underneath the ladder, and it wants to rise up. You know, you put a boat in water, it wants to bounce up to the top, but it can't because the ladder's keeping it down. And uh, a boat's two blocks long, so you don't need a ladder every single block. You can just use every other block. You could put it every single block if you fucking wanted to. So what happens, it tries to get up, it can't get up because it's trapped down, so it goes forward. It's just like a boosted minecart, it's the same fucking thing, except it's with a boat. So then you'll have this shit here, what the fuck is this? Why is it only three? Well, it keeps you at the right uh, elevation here, since it kind of goes down as blocks go. And it, uh, it's for maximum speed, basically. I, I think that's my understanding. Maybe you can make it all the way if you wanted to, but then you, I think you start to lose speed. Signs. Alright, fuck it. I know I'm going pretty fast here, but there's a lot to show. As you can see, a fucking sign cuts off water. Ladders do the same thing. Get Where the fuck is that ladder going? There we go. Get here. You put a ladder here, the water can't go by anymore. But a sign has no collision. That's why signs are on the bottom. Your boat's not going to get stuck on a fucking sign. So there you go. That's... The basics of what we're fucking looking at. Glass, you can go through glass without taking damage. And it also keeps your boat down. I think I've just got that glass there, so I've got a bit of uh, a wet walkway when I get out. So let's get to this part. Ah, fuck. You get off and you fucking hit it, and then it busts like that. So here's a turn. How the fuck is this turn working? Well, pressure plates are the same thing as signs and uh, ladders. It stops water from flowing. So you can put a pressure plate on the ground and not have to deal with that problem. So you hit here. There's ladders to keep you down, and there's glass also to keep you down during the transition because you don't want your boat to pop up because then it loses alignment. Then you've just got the one fucking thing of water. It's going this way, just for two blocks. Then you got another thing of water, which is going this way for two blocks. I think this is, uh, I think this is the s both two source blocks right here. Pretty sure. Let me get this. It looks like it. Yeah, it is. So why is this down like this? In the video I saw for this, it's because uh, if it's an unmanned boat going through here, it might get stuck. And for some reason, the two source blocks on the bottom stop it from getting stuck as it 
does this way and then that way. And once again, this ladder is to keep it down and glass also to make sure it fucking stays down. And then you've got your signs here to stop the water from merging. It's one of these things you figure it out pretty quick. As soon as you understand what's going on, you just kind of play around with it. And it eventually fucking works. I'll show you the turn on the other side. There's a couple signs here. Uh, I mean, uh, the pressure plates are here to keep it from being too wide. If it's too wide, your boat might catch and start turning as the, and hit the wall in an angle, so it won't be perfectly straight anymore. So you don't want that shit, because that'll fuck you up. So uh, you just want it to be one wide. And you make it one wide by putting down pressure plates. It's not too big of a deal. And then I don't think these need to be too wide. I think the whole fucking thing could be one wide. It doesn't really matter. You're stuck on this wall anyway, so I think you can do that. Looks a little bit nicer when it's too wide, though. So what's going on down here? Well, down here it just fucking launches you. You've got two signs here to keep the water from going down. And it fires you over there. And this is just a water elevator. I'm going to have to go down this way. Let's see if I can time this right. Oh, yeah. That was fucking slick. So it lands here and it bounces underneath this ladder to get going again. That isn't timed exactly right. It's possible to make it go underneath and not lose any speed whatsoever. But I was having problems with that. So I'll have to work on that later. But there you go. It keeps on going. Another fucking turn. Just one wide. Just one wide again. Then you get here. And this closes the door on you so you stop. And this pressure plate is just here to stop the water. That's not really doing anything else. I think, yeah. So, what's going on down here? Where's the boat go? Alright. You can put a sign instead of a pressure plate. Oh. Fuck! To stop water from going. But uh, pressure plate's uh, a lot easier on the resources. In fact, I might as well. There. Ah, that's nicer. I like it more that way. Okay, so <laughs> here's a, a really fucked up turn that's completely unnecessary. It could just go straight through, but I wanted to play around with it to see if I had a fucking understanding of what's going on here. So let me explain this shit. Come on, get the fuck over here. Oh shit. Let me this not really meant for a person to be down here it's kind of hard so ethos shows you how to make this basically it's eight lawn so here's this is how far water can travel is eight blocks and at the very end it's just a, a little block just like this that's all that's left of the fucking water so basically, if a boat lands on here, and another boat lands on top of it, and another boat, it works so fucking slowly that it'll feed them through one at a time, and uh, you can stack a whole fucking stack of boats here, and it'll all work still. I can even show you that. Get the fuck up here. So, let's make some fucking boats. Hopefully this shit isn't going too fast. There's just a lot of it. This video could go for 30 minutes, no problem. So this is the easy loader that Etho made. You've got your two pressure plates right here, and then your one source block of water right here. That's all it is. And then there's a sign right there to stop the water from pouring down. So it's pretty easy to build, and what you do, you put your boat right here, it hits the glass, and then it goes down. And this is how you can load a boat into the system without... If you try loading it underneath the fucking ladder, good luck. Like, look at this shit. Fuck! It's goddamn annoying. So, you do this, because it's easier. And I, I just fucked up on what I showed you, but... It goes down. Slowly goes down. If there's another boat on top, it doesn't matter, because the other boat on top will just drop down. And then it'll do the same thing as that one, so you can just keep on going forever. So what happens with these boats? Okay, let me get back down there. I'm taking a lot of fucking fall damage here, but I got meat. Who cares? 
So there's the one block there. Of course, it's underneath the block to keep the boat down so it doesn't start bouncing up. It touches this and it gets fed down. It goes this way because it's unmanned boats again. And well, I don't know if that's even fucking necessary. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, actually. But it goes that way. It catches this. Water always rises. I mean, boats always rise to the top of the water. So it, it rises to the top here. It gets caught underneath these things. I can't really do it. It goes this way, it gets caught here. It goes this way, it gets caught here, and it stays down because this fucking block's up top. Here the water goes this way, so that it comes underneath this fucking ladder, and it goes, it goes like this. This is here just to keep it going. This is just a, a source block. It's all on its own, but it still pushes a boat. So the boat goes this way, and then it goes here, and then it goes up to the system. And as you can see, there's a big fucking stack of boats there. I don't want to screw it up by touching it. So I think what I'm going to do is get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Where's my fucking wood? There we go. So uh, if you want to use the same station as many times as you want over and over and over, because maybe you died or something like that, and you always want a boat to be there, you just hook up another pressure plate to the door that lets them free, and then whenever you go in, I touch that pressure plate, it opens up that door, and you're going to see an unmanned boat go, and it'll fill up that station. And then when you go to that station, there's another door that, or another pressure plate that sends another boat this way, so they always just kind of recycle. So you always got at least one boat at the other station. That's easy to do, it's pretty simple fucking... Where the fuck is the boat? It went, didn't it? Yeah, there it is, you can see it in the fucking background. I'm just blind. So now you got these boats. Uh, normally the other boat's going the other way, which it would have been if I had it just taken it straight through instead of going all the way around. But uh, there were some problems with that. There's some problems with this too, actually. But I, I don't know how to fucking fix that shit. The problem is when you leave and it has to reload the chunk, the boats will be like, they'll always be facing in this direction. Even if they were facing in that direction, suddenly they'll be facing in this fucking direction, which is why this faces this way instead of just going straight. And it won't be even either. It'll be all fucking crazy. So you get in your boat and it explodes into a bunch of wood. So I just do it this way. Keeps it even. This is a little bit more complex. Let me explain this shit. So, I got some glass here to keep it down, and since you can go through glass without taking damage. And then there's water here so it takes you up. And there's ladders here so it keeps you aligned, I guess. So, no, wait. Let's look at this. You're aligned on this side, underneath this ladder, underneath this ladder, underneath this block. You come here, it takes you up. Even though there's signs all around here. Can I put a torch anywhere? No, I can't. It would screw up the snow anyways. It's still... The boat will still go. It'll still go up. Doesn't matter that there's no water here. It'll keep on rising up. And when it does rise up here, it's got this... It's going this way. So you can see it's pushing me. And then it's got ladders here to keep it down. Because it goes straight up against this wall. And then it just starts going that way. And that's how you realign it in midair. So let's go this way again. Straight against that wall, up underneath the ladders. You hit this to stop you from keep on going. More glass so you don't take damage. So hopefully this isn't that hard to understand. But, uh,. I had to play around with it to figure this shit out. Even though I watched the how to make video, I still didn't really understand until I finished building all this crap. So same thing, I went over that pressure plate there which sent out that boat. Now I went over one of these pressure plates which closed this door. Now I'm off the pressure plate so the door opens up. There's a fucking pig under there. Another easy loader. Let's just go around this way. So the water brings it through, brings it down into another one of these. And once again, you just got these blocks here to keep it down. And some source water going this way. And then it just hits the elevator. And there you go. So, uh, 
Hopefully that's not too complex. And uh, I can do some more on this if anybody wants me to. But that's pretty much everything. Anyways, uh, I'll make a video for my auto return system for the minecarts next. Uh, have a good one, guys.